is a true honor to be here and to be one of your many champions in Washington, D.C. It is, in fact, your strength and commitment that gives me mine. And it is very gracious of you to acknowledge NASA's very small role in this enterprise. We know that the government's role in our amazing democracy is to assist the private sector initiatives such as this so that your innovations can open new markets and provide economic growth for the nation. Now sometimes that role comes in uh, reducing technical or market risks or in being a good customer or in just getting out of the way as Bert Rutan liked to uh, let us know a lot. <laughs> Clearly your state and uh, local governments here have done a lot more than just get out of the way. Thanks to Governor Richardson's leadership. Thank you so much for having a government play such a significant role in this activity. Uh, the wonderful combination of private investment and state support to reach a major new achievement in spaceflight dovetails perfectly, as Rick said, with the national goals on which we now embark as a nation. President Obama just last week signed the NASA authorization law that establishes a clear path for future achievements in space that will include close partnerships with a growing space transportation industry. The type of innovative approaches that industry brings to the table will generate more competition and opportunities that will lower the costs and open up spaceflight for all of us. I want to recognize two pioneer explorers whose daring and commitment are part of NASA's and the nation's heritage. Apollo astronauts Buzz Aldrin and Harrison Schmidt. Could you please stand, Buzz and Buzz? Now, when NASA, on behalf of the nation, sent Buzz and uh, Jack to the moon, the task of developing a viable space transportation system was too big for anyone but the government. And we spent about 6% of our GNP doing it. Now NASA intends to build on this rich history of exploration and again, push the boundaries of space travel further, something we hope to be able to utilize our resources to do uh, when we are able to simply purchase seats for our government astronauts from here, maybe literally someday, to space stations and other destinations of the future. I do want to acknowledge that this hard fought change would not have been possible without all of you. If we in the government are going to loosen our grip on human space travel, which we must acknowledge has been our heart and soul for 50 years, we need to be confident that credible, innovative, enterprising and bold and individuals and entities are ready willing and able to receive the torch so i cannot imagine a team that more perfectly exhibits those very characteristics than those of this team on a personal note george if i have made a difference in the last 18 months it could not have been without you i miss you terribly and at nasa and when George let me know that he would be leaving. I thought, well, we can't survive without him. I'll just, you know, get uh, some more uh, activities he could do at NASA that will be more satisfying. Until he let me know that he would be going to be the CEO of Virgin Galactic and working for Sir Richard Branson. I, I'm out. I'm going to lose that one. I, for one, uh, we at NASA know firsthand the challenges, daring, and amazing purpose of this very undertaking. Well, maybe not exactly since our backers don't require an immediate return on their investment, but I for one am proud to be able to play just a very small role in your story, and I can assure you we wish you nothing but clear skies and success ahead. Godspeed. Thank you. Right.